So I'm going to start and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start us in prayer. And then Destiny uh, or one of our, one of you three, I don't, I don't know, might be Brooklyn, whoever, will end in prayer after we do. But I, I pick any random and we're going to go over it together. We're going to discuss it. And then after that, we're going to just, you know, just open up about some things and see how we can get more people involved in this because this is a life-changing experience. I didn't have this when I was in your guys' age where we had, you know, devotionals, things we could talk about, real stuff and real issues. And it was kind of hard because I was all by myself. Like, you, you would feel like you're alone in your walk towards Jesus. But now you're not alone. And you have supporters, you have family. And we're all going to do our part in, in our relationship with God. So everybody uh, bow your heads and close your eyes as I pray. Father God, we thank you that we woke up this holy Sabbath day, Lord. And we just want to give you all the glory and the praise, God, as we come together as GYBW and GYBM. And we're here to learn about more and of your kingdom, of what you have put in our hearts at, at youth that you are teaching us. Even before we was born, you have prepared these moments right now for us to learn more about you, Lord. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that anybody that's on this call that hasn't actually privately received you in their heart, that this is a day that they make that decision as, to, as they learn more and more about you, God. Lord, I, make the, I pray that you make these moments as we come together and in an honorable place for you to just come and be inside of us as your temple, Lord, that you will reign inside of us and that our, that our hearts and our minds will be your temple, a holy place that you can re resonate in and show us how to live a life for you and a life abundantly with success, with greatness like you, give, like you gave to Solomon, like you gave to David. Lord, we want that success in our lives too. And so we thank you, Lord, for this day in your son Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. So I've seen a lot of you guys finishing. I am so proud. As you can see, I already went to, to, to a certain amount of days because I wanted to see what you guys were doing. Um, but I, I slowed down a little bit. I, I'm not going to lie because I, want, I don't want to be like, you know, just checking up on. I want you guys to do it on your own. And so I picked one that I'm really, um, that was quite interesting. And let me click it. Um, and this one is um, definitely... Um, something I want to talk about, and I'm going to read, and I want us to get into it and get into these scriptures, and I want to hear everybody's opinion. So right now you have me on mute, but I want to read this over, and then I want to hear everybody what they felt and, and just go in about, like, you know, how this is something that's going to, you know, what, what changed in your mind about this, okay? So it says, Houston, we have a problem. Okay, I don't know about you, but I make mistakes uh, and sin. Sometimes it's on purpose. Like, and I'm honestly like now, you know, away from the devotional. Yeah, I still sometimes make a mistake and and maybe you know make an on purpose sin. Okay, and I'm an adult and I'm a I'm a chaplain minister and I'm not perfect, but that we all make mistakes. And and but everything that's concerned to the sin makes me uncomfortable. You, you know when you feel that uncomfortable feeling, when you know after you've done it, it's just like, ugh, why did I do that? And you just don't like it. I came to terms with the fact that I'm not perfect. I'm aware of my imperfection, and that's why I don't treat myself seriously. I've even learned to laugh at myself. I'm in a process each day to, uh, spent in relationship with him changes me and leads to a maturity God knows what I'm like and what I go through. That's why he leads me toward his perfection by taking away my imperfections. Someone once said, sin attracts the devil. The same way rotting rubbish attracts the flies. Get rid of the trash and the flies will move on to the places that stink even more. So be cautious of what you do, of what you watch and listen to because rotting rubbish attracts flies and an improper conduct attracts problems. Remember the words of Paul, I have the right to do anything but in everything, is everything beneficial? I have the right to do anything, but will will it not? Will but will but I will not be mastered by anything. So in this, he's he's saying that that yeah, you could do it, but you know, is do will you want it to rule you? Do you want it to control you? That you don't have any control now? That it takes over your life when you keep making because you just can't stop making that sin. You can't stop doing it. So that's what you got to think about. Is it starting to get uncontrollable? 
where it's ruling and mastering you. The Bible says that we are chosen people, a royal priesthood. This is my favorite part. A holy nation and God's special possession. Does your behavior show your godly identity? Does your behavior confirm this identity? Or maybe you need to change something that gives something up, okay? Um, there's the prayer after that. So hopefully you guys all did the prayer quietly to yourself. And then it says, open your heart to God and tell him about everything that is hidden at the bottom of your soul. Then promise to change it and ask him to help you. I know this is difficult, but in exchange, it will be worth it. It will be heard, okay? So back to you guys. Back to you guys. So now I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. And we've talked about everything, okay? Uh, and so now I want to hear more about what you guys thought about this, okay? Um, uh, Destiny, um, Brooklyn, you know, what did you guys think? So let's go first to, and Brooklyn, I know your sisters are on too, so I definitely want you guys to talk about how you feel about, um, you know, what you guys did the devotional and what you guys think about that one, because I'm just going to random, randomly pick one every single time, and so I want you guys to just give me what you think about that, okay? So um, let's start with you, Brooklyn. We haven't heard from you in a while, so hey, Brooklyn, did you get off on you? Hi. Hi. Uh, hi, sorry. Um, I actually never got the devotional because I didn't have my phone. Like, it's off. Like, it's not working. So I had no one to send me the thing. And my mom said she was, so I don't know if she sent it to Raven or Peyton, so I didn't get one. And that's okay, but as of right now, what do you think? Because I just did the devotional with you. We're gonna, I could, I'm going to read the scriptures after this, but what do you think about what was just read? Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's just, do you, do you, I'm, I'm just really off. Um, sorry. No, it's okay. Do you think, what, what I just read to you guys, is that, do you think that sometimes you make sin and you, and you know that you did it and, and it kind of, you know, bothers you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then you realize you're not perfect and you have this imperfection, but at the same time, do, what what decisions do you make to um, to try to to change that, to get back um, on track with God I, and do it I try to like like pray to God sometimes and just read my, uh, read the Bible, or I like talking to my friends sometimes about it, um, or my sisters, my sis, me and my sisters talk a lot about, you know, that type of stuff, so I guess that's what I do, and I just pray about it. And are you, one of the coolest questions, and I want to, I'm going to share my screen one more time, you guys, so you guys can, um, oops, sorry, I'm going to share my screen one more time so you guys can see. Um, again, one of these questions that I had so you guys could um, go along with it. But this is a cool question to think about, and I want you to respond also, um, again, Brooklyn. I'm going to ask you this question. It says that um, it's about your identity. Hold on. Oh, the Bible says that you're a chosen people, a holy nation, and God says, well, does your behavior show your, your godly identity? Have you been doing, has, does your behavior been showing your godly identity in Christ? Do people see Christ when they see you? Brooklyn, I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought, okay. No, I'm talking to you, Brooklyn. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So that's something to think about. Yeah. That's something to think about because that's what that's what we're here to discuss. Okay, um, so you definitely need to make sure that you are getting your heart and mind now into that place. This is why I want you guys on this doing the devotional because we are not as a a people 
and you and as young people that you guys are out you guys are doing such amazing things that, that I've never seen young people do in this generation. You guys are such a wonderful generation, but are you really doing the things that are a representation of God's identity? And uh, do people see God when they see you? Do they see the royal pre priesthood? Can you, does your behavior confirm this identity? Okay, so thank you so much, Brooklyn. Destiny, I'm asking you the same question, Destiny and Desiree. So Destiny, are you on? Destiny, are you there? Yep. Okay. So, same question to you. Does your behavior show your godly identity? Does your behavior confirm this identity? Some, sometimes. Good. Thank you for your honesty, because sometimes that's honest. That's being honest. Like, even Brooklyn, she said, well, I don't know. That's good. We don't, so, like, you're not understanding that maybe I'm not, or sometimes I am. Well, what do I do need, what do you need to do to change? I need some honesty here. What do you need to do? If it's sometimes, what things that you need to do so people can see you and see the Jesus? Day? I don't, I'm not talking about you have to go around talking about Jesus all day and preaching all day. When, when it's that time is right, when you're ready to be that disciple and talk to about, about Jesus, you will. But can they see it in the way you talk already and how you respond and behave? Can your parents see it? No. Yeah. Thank you for being honest. No. Thank you for being honest. No, it's not. And listen, I'm not just talking about the 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 um just being like good and bad. I'm talking also as being a royal priesthood, that means your royalty. Are you carrying yourself every day when you wake up in the morning? Are you putting yourself up together like a princess would because you're royal? Think about the most beautiful royal princess you've ever seen, a black, beautiful princess. What do you think? Yeah, of? Uh -uh. Who do you think of, Destiny, when you think of a black, beautiful princess, When if you could just come to anybody in your mind? I don't just think of actual uh, princess. I think of, okay. I'm, not I'm, about to, I'm about to look her up for you guys right now. Okay, I'm about to look her up right now for you guys to get to see. No, not me. Oh, her herself. I think I'll say Tiana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Tiana all day. What? <laughs> I said I was going to say it, Tiana. Okay, there she is. So, do you think, and I'm trying to be honest, do y'all see her face? Do you guys see her? Does everybody see this picture? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I've seen that. Uh, when, okay, royal, royalty. Do you think she wakes up every morning? I'm going to try to talk about being perfect. Whichever country. Desiree, can you hear me? Yes. Yep, don't do that. Was it was it Miss Hello? Nigeria? Was it Nigeria? I don't know or Jamaica? Y'all breaking up. Stop talking. We're not talking. We can't oh, hear when he sees you just oh. like that. Do you? Huh? Do you believe you gotta, that? That you okay. that's how God sees you. Can you guys hear me or am I breaking up? You were breaking up, but we can hear you now. Okay. Okay. Please put it on mute. If I'm just talking to Desiree and Destiny, so no, we can't hear any other sound. Um, what I'm saying, when you wake up in the morning, Desiree, now, when you wake up, do you feel that you, do you see yourself as this royal priesthood like this, royalty like that when you wake up in the morning? Do you feel that when you get up, are you getting dressed like this? Like you're getting up thinking like, I'm royalty. It's not that you think you're better than anybody, but this is that. Do you believe that God sees you this way? Are you? Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, it kind of took me a while to feel that way, but yes, I will admit that I do feel that way now. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and take it seriously. Wake up. Put on your clothes. Even if you have no plans to go anywhere, I, you're getting dressed for Jesus. You're his royalty. Do you think that when back in the Bible days, and I could say even now, 
there's royal princesses that have absolutely nothing to do every day, but they still get up and put on something nice and look beautiful every day because you're royalty. You you don't never know when something's going to happen and somebody's going to see you and pop up anywhere. You've always got to put yourself to, to the presence of the Lord. And if you go into the Lord, even in your dirty rags, he still loves you. But why not treat why not treat yourself of how he sees you? Do you get what I'm saying? And so yeah. this, this is the behavior as well. Is your behavior lining up to this identity? Is your behavior in your heart? Are you kind? Are you are you doing the fruits of the spirit? Are you being generous, kind, faithful, um, gentleness, um, um, strong, long suffering, and self control? Like, oh, I, I you know I really want to eat that, or I really want to. I really want to do those drugs with my friends, or I really want to drink with them. But can you control that? Because I'm, I'm, I'm for real. When I was your age, you guys, I was drinking, smoking, doing all kinds of stuff until I learned about Jesus. And when I learned about Jesus, I realized I've got to be better than that. I am more beautiful than that. And it took me still time to realize I looked like her. But even probably better, whatever, you know what I'm saying, just knowing I am beautiful in his eyes like that. But when I was in high school, when I finally found Jesus in high school, I stopped going to the parties. I started really focusing on the gifts that God gave me. And I saw, you guys would never imagine the turnaround in one year that happened to me that I, no one could even believe that I was a scholarship athlete because I wasn't that good the year before because I was doing all that other stuff, partying. I already told you guys I wasn't, I wasn't, I was fornicating too because I didn't know my value. But when I realized my behavior did not identify with the way God sees me, it did not identify with God's identity, I stopped being the behavior of the world. I stopped watching things on television that wasn't according to his behavior or the behavior he has, uh, the identity that I wanted to have. I realized that even if I knew no one at all, God's identity or the way I want God to continue to see me as and representation of him had to change. And this is what GYBW and GYBM is, going, is always going to represent royalty. You are royal priesthood. You are God's identity. Brooklyn, when you wake up, you get up and you do your hair cute like you're going to see the finest dude you ever seen. Why? Because Jesus is the bomb. He's made you look that beautiful for a reason. And then when you get into positions of where you get angry or frustrated, you think about how would Jesus handle this? When I was your guys' age, I used to wear these um, bands on my arm and on my ankle because I used to, you know, I wanted to wear on the basketball game too. And it said WWJD, and it, and it meant what would Jesus do? I promise y'all people laugh and stuff about that, but, you know, not when I was wearing it, but I'm saying people think it's silly now, but I promise you it saved my life. Because every time when I wanted to cuss somebody out, Every time when I saw a boy that I knew that I really liked and he was messing with me and trying to get me to, you know, do more than I should, I looked at that bracelet. And I promise you, it saved me. Because I thought, right at that moment, am I getting, am I doing the identity of Christ? And if any of you guys need those bracelets to support you as well, I will send you one. Because it helped me to think, well, Right at that moment when I felt that kind of turn in my behavior, when I felt that maybe, I know I'm not perfect, but I know I could do a perfect effort. Um, I looked at that bracelet and I thought to myself, would Jesus do this? Would Jesus do that? Would Jesus cuss that girl out? Would Jesus fight that girl? Would Jesus go and write some lie about to somebody to get what I want? Would Jesus go and mess with that boy and I'm not married? Would Jesus go and put my put pictures of myself in this kind of way? I mean, it saved me. I didn't have back then we didn't have pictures and stuff like that. So you guys are the way way 
you guys got it way way better than I did. So, but be more careful. But we didn't have we didn't have the internet like that. But I promise you, rumors got around faster than the social media. If you did anything, and you lived in a small town like I did, so I promise you guys, it is important to know who you are and if you're in one accord with the correct behavior of Jesus. If you're in the correct behavior of the way he sees you, this beautiful royalty, this beautiful woman of God, and every you are Miss Universe to him. You are his royalty to him, and this is including the men. They, God sees them as these royal kings. Royalty. Men are such beautiful world things. Their temple is holy the same way. And I need you guys to get to that place when we do these devotionals. And now, you, now you're receiving Jesus on a daily. Are you thinking to yourself every time now that, okay, that stuff I need to start to clean up in me. Now I'm starting to get to a place where I, I believe I could be this and more. And now I'm going to start to think about what Jesus do in these situations. Not just when things are bad. What about when things are good? When you got blessed and, you know, you see someone around looking sad, what would Jesus do? Will he share? Would you, you know, what would Jesus do? What is the identity of Christ, of kingship, of kingdom thinking? And kingdom thinking is only for royal people. And you guys are royalty. Okay? Any Amen. questions about that? Amen. I, I, right? I, I wanted to uh, mention something here really quick, you guys. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Can you, everybody hear me? I can hear you, sis. Okay, so I'm I'm here right now. I don't know if you guys can see all around me, but I'm at a, a big uh, garden like this. Uh, I'm I'm here with my aunt, and we are at this big farm, and we are my aunt is wanting to purchase some trees. So we have been learning about mangoes and coconuts and different types. I mean, did you know that there was a, a such thing called like an ice cream mango and an ice cream banana? And there are like five different types of mangoes and five different types of bananas. And I mean, there's so much in this, in, on, this, on this garden. And the man has been teaching us about how you water it and, you know, what you're supposed to put in the ground and how these different things are growing. And they have, you know, different types of coconuts. And I mean, they, anything that you can think of, they're growing here around and it's very important that they maintain the growth of this green life right so you know it's important and he's saying okay well this type of plant or this type of tree it needs this type of soil it needs these type of nutrients and so i'm going to ask you you girls a question if they stop watering and 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 doing these the, the nutrients that these things needed would they would they continue to grow or would they die? What do you girls think will happen? They will they would die slowly. They would die slowly, right? And what what do you what do you girls think about the importance of maintaining something? I mean, if you look look at all around me. I mean, this place is humongous. What do you think is, is important? What do you think is important to keep to continue to maintain these things? Water and water, sun, water, soil. And soil. the basic needs. Sunlight, sunlight, mm -hmm. water, soil. Yeah, I guess basically just energy. Yeah, showing you the love for it and all that because I the passion. Yeah. yeah, love talking good to plants. Yeah, and just some girl just. <laughs> no, not that. It's just, no, it's true. No, it's true. No, it's just showing that you care about it and everything. Well, like keeping no, it going. It be, I think it's a part of the letting it reach the its full potential too. To it. So, yeah, if you like, can keep, you hear? Keeping Left? that up. Oh, it's frozen. We had to do that for a break. No, she just frozen. Yeah. She's probably tired. Oh. Did she ask you that? Okay. I think so. 
I think that's a good, let's keep discussing on that. So she was trying to get you guys to see that you gave a wonderful response and saying that you need to water it. And so at the end of the day, you're saying maintaining and being effort and, and giving effort to it. And then one of the beautiful things you said was um, to give it great energy, give it great passion. Are you, are you doing that when it comes to Jesus? Are you doing that guarding the Jesus within you? Are you doing are you being a good gardener? Are you watching? And then that's what you need to come out. Oh wait, you're breaking up. The oh, behavior yeah. is that I didn't mm -hmm. you're I'm I'm sorry. On. The behavior. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sorry. But the behavior goes with the passion and the energy. What kind of good energy are you giving? Because you are the you are the branch. You are the vessel to Jesus. You are his branch. How are you being watered? Are you maintaining it? Are you loving on it? This is what we are going to, this is why this devotional is important. This is why we want to invite other friends. So, again, I'm going to say, I need you guys to invite your friends. I'm going to give you a list, Destiny, because you're the president of girls that was in our program um, with contact numbers. And I want you to call them and ask them to get on the, to start the devotional and get on the Zoom. Okay? Well, do you say me? Well, you say yes. I'm not going to say... Desi and Destiny, Destiny oh. too, because you can be the new VP or whoever, what or Brooklyn, whatever, whoever you guys are, because we have some some students that that um you know are not participating. That's okay, you know. The blessing comes to those who who, who participate, who get involved, and that's okay. We we will pray for those who haven't showed up, but I think it's it's important that we actively call our friends and family members, cousins, okay. little cousins, whatever. In ages eight to eighteen, this is a preteen to teen teaching, and so you can be involved in this because this is definitely what is needed. And even if they start the devotional late, I'm always going to do a devotional on Saturday with you, a teaching with you. Okay, so if they don't want to do it every week, you guys still do it. But then if they want to just show to Zoom, that's okay. Okay. Um, any questions about the teaching? Any more? Any anybody that want to say anything? Nivia, do you want to say anything about what you learned? Uh, I'm good. I, I I'm I'm just listening right now, I'm learning more. Okay. I'm up again. Mom. Mom. Did my screen freeze again? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you, all the time on this computer, it always does that. So, Brooklyn, can you get on um, and tell me what you're, if Raven and, and, and um, Peyton, if they have anything they want to say? Anything? Uh, no. Just you said they're just listening and learning. Okay. Okay. Well, I would like for you, Brooklyn, to end this out in prayer. And uh, like I said, uh, Desiree, I'm going to send you a list of names. Brooklyn, I would love for you to make a list. And what do you guys want to get that bracelet? Did you guys like that story with the bracelet that I used to use, WWJD? Yeah. Do you guys want one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's dope. I'm yeah. you that. Do you want to wear that thing? If I get it to y'all, got to wear it every day, though. You can't take yeah, it off. Like, I wear mine. It's this bracelet. I could get a whole pack of them. Yeah, like, you already got, like, those, or they're, they're, I have the kind that were cotton. <laughs> and it says, what That's would Jesus cool. do? WWJD. I promise you, oh, y'all. Yeah, I, I, I would wear that every day. Yeah. You're good. What about you, Desi? You're like, no, I'm good. It's not cute enough. Desi, is that how you feel? Over there, she asked you something. Who me? Oh, yeah, my. would you wear it if I get it? 
Yeah, I would. Yes, I would. What about you, Destiny? Yeah. yeah. De oh, Lauren, you over? Yeah. Okay. Lauren, I know you got friends at school. You need to get them on this call. Okay? Yeah. All right. Well, you don't have a contact, but with the contact, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What? Do you know their numbers? No, I do not know them. I forgot their numbers. It's in my phone. Well, then how are you going to contact them? Okay. Well, oh, you guys sorry. find, your, find your friends in your contacts and give them the what link and tell them to get on. He's okay, like, Brooklyn, I want you to end us out in prayer um, about this devotional, about everything that we're doing. Don't forget, I want to also tell you guys that everything is still going down for September 18th um, for us to have the prom. And then not only that, um, I'm still in contact with the Diamondbacks. I sent them all all your um, report cards that whoever sent the report cards to me has already been sent out. So mm -hmm. if you are, um, if your report card is, is what they chose, they hit me back and they said they love about splitting it up where they're going to give $500 per person. And they wanted to know what schools you went to. So I sent them your report cards. And they're choosing with the best grades, including the boys, too, um, of who they who are they picking to get that. So they're choosing that um, since you, if you sent your report cards to me. And then so right now, hey, I'm um, there's, there's only going to be four. Hi. Hey, sorry, four, you guys. My, uh, um, it had got so hot out here that um, my phone turned off. Oh, it's okay. Give me yeah, one so second. I hope, I hope you guys were understanding what I was saying. And um, that's what I, I just wanted to show you guys that and the importance of maintenance and what JC was saying and how you take care of yourself. Because just like that man was taking care of all of those greens that we saw, that's, that's the importance of what we have to do. We have to water ourselves and feed ourselves and we can dwell amongst each other and we're because we're all different and god made us in our own unique way so when we were walking around that garden and we were able to see all those different type of things none of those things were the same and so we can celebrate our differences and celebrate our our, our beauty differently but the main thing is that we need to be sure that we're watering and that we're growing properly Amen, sis. We we were just talking about that, and I gave a story how I would um, wear Amen. this um, WWJD bracelet to remind myself, what would Jesus do in these situations? Am I maintaining his glory? Am I doing making the right decision? So we we just um, were talking about how wonderful I did. They think they some of the girls want the bracelet, so I'm going to make an order. I'm going to look on Amazon and try to make an order to send them out. Because these, because it saved my life um, to think of who I am and God's identity every day. Whenever I was reminded by looking at this item on my arm, reminded me that hey, my behavior, the way I dress, the way I think about myself, is it in the representation of Jesus? Would what would Jesus do? Would he wake up every morning and think bad about himself, you know, and not treat himself and water himself, like you said? So thank you so well, much. Ma 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 make sure you get me the information and I can get the girls uh, bracelets and stuff ordered. So uh, if you have addresses that we need to have them sent to, I can just have them sent directly to their house. Great. I'll send you the link of, of the, um, the bracelets. And then um, Des uh, Desiree, you said send me a text in the group text of your guys' address so then we can send them out to you because you guys, I promise you, it, it saved my life. It did. I wore it yeah. all through college, too. I wore it through college. I wore it on my ankle in the basketball games because I wanted to cuss people out in the games. <laughs> I, had to look, I had to look down and look at my bracelet, and I was like, oh, Jesus wouldn't do it. Jesus wouldn't do that. Jesus wouldn't do that. <laughs> so God is good. God is good. So I, uh, Brooklyn, the uh, last thing I was saying is about that. I was talking about the Diamondbacks. We thank God for the Diamondbacks for making these scholarship donations to our organization. So I will be hearing back from her. I'm going to call her on Monday to uh, let her know and ask her how do we want to get this thing. They might want to get on a Zoom call to announce the winners. So um, hopefully we get that moving fast because, you know, I don't want them to, um, to drag their feet in this, and I think it's going to be a blessing. 
So any other questions, anybody? I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what kind of fabric would the bracelet be? Fabric? What well, fabric I'm looking, um, material? I'm looking up, but the ones the ones that I had, it was like it was a um it was like a a, a weeded um cloth type, but it was like you know because you could take it in the shower with you and everything, and so I kind of got it that kind where it was oh. that's the kind that I wore, and um, that it was like a cotton type. Or you could get the plastic ones that those are a little bit more expensive and I don't think it's I don't know. Um I don't I, I was like if you get the rubber ones, those can break easily, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the rubber ones. I'm yeah. gonna get the con yeah, I'm gonna get the con ones, yeah. Those were better. And yeah. uh, that's what I had when I was growing up. And you know what? It was it was from a friend that offered gave it to me. She had it on her bracelet. She believed she was a believer. She took me to her church. I'm trying to tell you guys, you guys could need to be that friend. Like my life, I got saved because of her. And I forgot truth. Little did she like today, she's not even a believer anymore. But she it saved my soul. You know, I'm not saying she don't believe in God anymore, but she's using living a life that is not not kingdom. It's not the identity of Jesus because she's not wearing her maybe because she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. I'm not saying let's say the let's say the bracelet does it, but it starts it because when I kept with my bracelet on, it kept me reminded, and it's going to keep you reminded. And then you know, I still wear I wear this ring. I'm about to go get a new one because it's got messed up, but I wear this ring um, to remind me that too. It's a cross, a ring with a cross. That's a rem, it's, it reminds me. Oh, hold up. I'm a chaplain. I got to get the identity of Jesus. I got to wake up every morning. You need things like that. It really works. All right. God bless you guys. Okay, Brooklyn, you ready to pray us out? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so Brooklyn's going to pray us out. And to everybody, still do the devotionals. Still do it every time. Brooklyn, when you guys do the vo devotionals, you get online. You guys just email it to me that you finish it, okay? And um and or email it to your mom so send it to us on on the, the on the uh text on the call, okay? All right, go ahead, Brooklyn. Okay. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I pray that everyone on this Zoom meeting just has to remind themselves of you and you know before like think before they um speak or do. Um, I just pray that. Everyone is just um, just reminding themselves of you, and I pray for the um, the scholarship that everyone's going to, um, that they're going to be choosing, and I pray for them whoever gets it. Um, and I pray for everyone on this meeting that they're safe, they have safe God, have safe um, just whatever. Um, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Bless you guys. So I'll see you guys next Saturday, same time. I okay. I need you guys to be sending me your uh, devotionals every day and invite your friends. I'm not going to say it again. You can save us all. Someone did save my soul. And the, way, the reason I am successful today is because someone gave me a WWJD. Someone invited me to their devotionals like this. And this is why I love Jesus, Jesus today. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you guys. Bye. Bless you. Bye. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.